What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome to another gameplay video today. Uh, as per actually someone's request on Instagram, we're, we're gonna be trying out Is It Phoenix again. Uh, if you don't know what the Is It Phoenix deck is, it's essentially a deck built around Arclight Phoenix. So I always do that. Uh, Arclight Phoenix is a very, very powerful card. So essentially if it's in your graveyard and you've cast three or more instants or sorcery spells, it gets to come back from the graveyard to the battlefield for free. Uh, so the idea here is to uh, draw a bunch of cards, discarding Arclight Phoenix in the process, and then be able to play a few instants and sorceries and get it back out for free and be able to swing in immediately since it does have haste and flying. Uh, so it's a very, very powerful card, one that uh, has been a very uh, a staple build around card for quite some time, really since it came out, uh, taking over a lot of formats. So we're going to try it again here in Standard. Uh, this deck does feature quite a lot of cards from Ikoria, which I'm really excited about. Uh, some of these I'm kind of just testing out, so I don't think this is going to ever be a finalized list. I think there's a lot of different directions you can kind of go with this one, uh, and a lot of flex cards. Uh, some of these are very much, you kind of have to have them, uh, but there are a few that I think you could kind of lean one way or the other. So I'm trying out a bunch of stuff here. I, I don't necessarily think this is going to be the final list, but I do want to go over it very quickly. So uh, obviously at the top we do have Arclight Phoenix. The idea is we're never going to have to pay this mana cost, so hopefully our mana curve ends at 3. Uh, which does mean, and if I'm not mistaken, I dropped it down to 20 lands. So that's a pretty low land count. Uh, and the lands in general, 4 Steam Vents, 4 Temple, and 4 Fable Passage, 4 and 4 on the Islands and Mountains. Pretty even uh, distribution, as is most of the deck. Uh, so not too much of a problem there. We are drawing a lot of cards with this deck, so it's not really an issue to hit our land drops unless we just don't have any in our opening hand. That's obviously a problem. So uh, let's go through this from the bottom up. Uh, Opt, we're running four of. It's a very easy enabler for the Arclight Phoenix as well as Shock. Now, Shock also has the utility of dealing with low ground creatures, which is great for us as well. And then, of course, Op just lets us draw some cards. Scry 1 first really helps us hit the cards that we need. Uh, one of the new cards that we're testing out is actually Sprite Dragon. Uh, we have Durat the Perfect Pet uh, art, which I'm really, really happy about. Uh, Flying Haste for 2, uh, it is a 1-1, one, one, but whenever you cast a non-creature spell, which obviously we're doing a lot of, uh, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So uh, this can get very out of hand very, very quickly. It's usually something that the opponent tries to deal with pretty quickly as well, so that's kind of good for us because it gets it, it kind of draws out the removal a little bit, and if it's not answered, it certainly does a lot of damage. Um, Contingency Plan is a card that I'm kind of testing here uh, for two reasons, one of which is the, the Sprite Dragon. It's nice to be able to bolster those counters. Uh, the other is actually this next card, Ominous Seas. So uh, running a four of these, it's an interesting card. I don't really know if this is going to make the final cut, but uh, essentially it's a two mana enchantment. Whenever you draw a card, you put a four shadow counter on it, and then you can remove eight from it and put an eight eight blue kraken onto the battlefield. And you could also cycle it for two if you needed to. Uh, the cool thing about this is we're drawing a lot. I mean, it's very easy for us to draw six, maybe even eight cards per turn, given the right card combination. So this is not actually hard to get to in this deck. Excuse me. And so my hope is that we're able to, if the Phoenix plan doesn't work, this is kind of our backup plan. Uh, we do actually have another kind of built-in backup plan, but we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, another uh, new card from Akoria. This is a reprint from a previous set, but it's a very, very good card. You discard two cards from your hand to draw three cards. So not only does this bolster up the Ominous Seas, but it's a way to get the Arclight Phoenixes out of the hand and into the graveyard if they happen to be stuck there. Uh, Thrill of Possibility, very similar card, but instead of discarding two and drawing three, you discard one and draw two. So it's slightly worse. However, uh, if you find yourself in a position where you've played out a lot of your hand and you've really only got one other card in your hand, this Thrill of Possibility is much better than Cathartic Reunion because you literally can't play a Cathartic Reunion. So uh, it is actually a very nice little uh, uh, card draw discard package. 
Uh, Rielli the Ever Wise is another new card from Akoria that we're going to test out here. I've only got hit it here as a two of. It is a legendary creature, so I don't think we want too many of these. Uh, but it gets plus one plus zero for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. So kind of playing the role of the uh, Crackling Drake uh, or Cackling Drake. Uh, that we used to have in the old Phoenix decks. Uh, whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, you draw that many cards. So if we discard, you know, one or two cards based on these, we actually get to draw even more. Uh, so it really, really bolsters our draws given the right circumstances. Uh, Neutralize is a really nice one. Again, a new card. Uh, it's a three mana counter, so it's essentially cancel, but it has cycling. Uh, and so if you find yourself in a position where you really don't need the counter, you get to cycle this away and help, you know, draw through your deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I do find interaction is very good to have at least a little bit of uh, shock and neutralize really provide that for us. Um, two of uh, invade the city. This is an old war of the not old, but a war of the spark card uh, that does a lot of work in this deck. Now, it's very easy to deal with these tokens normally. Uh, you bounce it, you do whatever. Brazen Borrower is everywhere, but this is something that they do have to kind of instantly deal with because we're going to be filling our yard with a lot of instants and sorceries. It's very easy for us to do that. Uh, so this is certainly a card that can go, you know, for three mana, you get a 12-12, for instance. Uh, and so it's very easy to go really over the top with this. So uh, I thought I'd include it, again, more of a test than anything else, but I do think it's an interesting card. Uh, and this is certainly the deck for it. Again, 20 lands and then, of course, the four uh, Arclight Phoenix. So we're going to jump into our three games here. I have uh, some not high hopes for this deck, but this is a very powerful one. This is one that people are uh, really, really speculating on right now uh, because, I mean, there's, there's a lot for it. Cathartic Reunion in particular really makes this great, uh, along with quite a number of other cards from Akoria. So very, very happy to be playing it today. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it does. We'll do the three games, uh, and hopefully we'll do three more games at some point in the near future. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is definitely a keep. Uh, unfortunately, this is not an untapped land. That is the downside of the temples. But again, we only need max like three mana, uh, ideally a little bit more so we can really go off with the instants and sorceries, but that's okay. And it looks like... Huh, very cool. Oh, and we do have the Ominous Seas as well. Now that does slow our game plan down just a little bit, but it also gives us a really, really nice creature in the payoff. So that might be something that we try and go for. Uh, we'll certainly see. It's a very interesting card. Um, okay. Looks like they're going to be doing something very, very big soon. So... Um, Let's do this. Let's let's just try again. We are in the very very much in the testing phase with this deck. Don't have uh, the highest of expectations, but I do want to give this a shot. So let's try the ominous seas plan. Uh, we will be discarding Arclight Phoenix obviously this next turn and getting a lot of counters on this. So uh, that's really really exciting. Sure. Um. Looks like they're going to try and flicker everything, which is very, very good. Do not get me wrong. Uh, nice that we drew an opt there, actually. So let's just... <sighs> let's thrill of possibility here. Uh, we do have the Cathartic Reunion. I think it's okay that we don't play that here. Um, we do now have the opt. The th two opt and a shock, which can certainly get back our like, Phoenix. So we'll we'll pass here. This might be a bit slow, uh, and certainly, you know, that, that has its downsides, so I'm fully aware, um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> Very good card. I'm going to go ahead and shock this here. Uh, that's a, a certainly a big card to worry about in this deck, so I, I don't want to have that enabled uh, if we can help it. Now, they are getting close to Uro, uh, which is obviously not amazing for us, but that's okay. Okay, we did not get a land there, uh, which is fine-ish. Uh, let's play this. 
We're going to take another hit from the Cavalier, no doubt. Um, but we will see what we can do. Uh, and this is the worry with this Is It Phoenix deck. And maybe this is just my build, too. So please don't uh, don't take it as this is the end all be all of this deck. But uh, there is the worry that this is just a bit too slow and it gets outpaced very quickly. Um, for instance, we pull out an Is It Phoenix here. Well, they still have Cavalier of Thorns, which does have reach uh, and can block it. No problem. Uh, so there, there is obviously a bit of a, an issue there. Um, and here they get to flicker everything with the Sky Nomad. That's very, very cool, by the way. Um, very, very cool. Oh, it is just one card. Okay. Well, it's still quite good. <clears throat> so we really got to do some work on this turn. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know that we can. Let's opt. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, let's cathartic reunion. Discarding you and you. I don't think we're on that plan anymore. Uh, this is where we draw really just a lot of cards. Um, get that out there. Let's get opt. So this, I mean, we're only getting back one Phoenix here. Uh, it is worth noting. Gonna end the turn. Okay, now next turn, what can we do? Do we even get a next turn is a bigger question. Um, I'm going to make them replay the Uro here. I mean, they've got plenty of cards in their graveyard to do it, uh, but I am going to make them replay it. Okay, now. Wow. Very good value, for sure. Uh, Quasi-duplicate, very cool. They do have to ditch one of these, though, if I'm not mistaken. I think we're definitely in a bad position here. I don't know that there's there's any way to uh, truly dig out of this, but we'll we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> really, this is the biggest problem, surprisingly, right now because it does have flying. Um, we've got the ground pretty well covered uh, between. The the eight eight kraken and only four more counters to go here. Um, oh okay, so they're gonna probably take that out. That's fine actually. Um, don't love that obviously, but it's not the the worst thing in the world. Now this is obviously a problem because we're gonna be taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, shock, huh? Um. Hmm. Let's play land. Let's thrill discarding this. <sighs> so we do now have the eight counters. Let's invade the city. Um, just trying to flood with as many counters as we can get at this point. Um, here we truly can't attack. And this is the problem that I think we get to is uh, we, we really don't have a way to poke through a ton of damage here. Um, shock, hey, <laughs> but that's about it.
This is a cool deck by the opponent, by the way. I really like this. Uh, the This flicker effect is very, very strong. Uh, I like that a lot. <clears throat> It'd be great if we had, like, a... Uh, what is that, like, 2-1 one, or 1-2 one, flyer uh, that basically says triggers don't happen? <laughs> um, that would be pretty nice. Though I guess that would shut down the ominouses, so... No, actually, I guess it wouldn't. Um, okay, we get a counter there. And here they're just going to start outvaluing us, I believe. Um, they get to swing in for a pretty big hit here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Problem is we can't like we can't really kill this because if we do, they get to bring some more stuff back. And that's kind of a problem. Because uh, they do have Agent of Treachery in their graveyard, for the record. And so, like, they could take Ominous Seas, for instance, in which case they're going to start playing out these 8 8 Krakens, and we can't do much about that. Um, there's really a lot that they could do. I don't care about Arclight Phoenix hitting the graveyard solely because. We're able, I mean, very, very easily able to bring it back, so that's fine. Um, it's a matter of, you know, what can we truly do here? I don't know that there's much. That's bad. Okay. Go ahead and do this. I don't know that even having more Arclight Phoenixes would fix this problem either, right? Like, they've got so many of Cavaliers. Um, it's really not much we can do. The other option, too, here, by the way, in this deck, uh, there is, for instance, a uh, Goblin Electromancer, uh, which does cheapen uh, quite a lot of this deck. So there is a possibility that that should be in here um, instead of, you know, any number of our other two drops. Uh, I don't know, though, for sure, to be honest. I don't know that that's right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede here, guys. I, I just They've got so much on board, there's really not much we can do. Um, we will jump into game two and see how we do with this. Uh, this is a, an interesting one. I really want to test this out uh, across multiple multiple lists. Uh, if you've got a list that you feel is very, very strong for Is It Phoenix, please share it. Uh, in the comment section. I, I really would appreciate it because it would be a great way to uh, kind of compare and contrast what we've got going on. So I, I really would appreciate any uh, any and all uh, help there. I mean, this has a lot of the things we need. I, I think we keep. Um, I, I don't love it because it doesn't really do a ton. Um, but I do think we keep it here. Yeah, I'm, again, we're testing, so I don't feel bad about trying stuff here. Sorry if you're barking, by the way. There's a dog barking. Uh, let's do this, and we'll pass. On the off chance that they minus... Oh, they do. Okay. Well, that's kind of nice. Might be a bad idea. Um, that gives us the opportunity to shock that, which is very, very good. Pass turn. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, honestly, though, I don't know that we should shock it. Um, yeah, I think we do. Let's just go ahead and do that. 
And we'll go ahead and swing in for two here. Um, Esper control looking kind of list. Very interesting. I'm sure they've got a way to deal with this. Um, we will see, of course, but. Interesting, interesting. Uh, as always, guys, I, I haven't really mentioned it too much in these newer videos uh, because we we finally remembered to put our ad on the front end of the, the videos. But uh, if you are interested at all in uh, picking up these proxies, we really would appreciate it if uh, you would check out our Patreon. Um, the, the link is actually just below the gameplay if you're interested in picking them up. I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. We kind of just want is it phoenixes and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to wait so I can counter what they do here, I think. Uh, so we we do have our, our rewards up. Those are cycling below me. Uh, we change those out every single month. So you can, you can check out quite a lot of uh, what we've got going on. Some are still available from previous months. Uh, so you can certainly check those out as well. Uh, and of course, we, we genuinely would appreciate uh, any and all support. So uh, please don't feel like you have to ever uh we we're going to continue doing this content because we just love doing this content so no worries at all but uh it is you know greatly appreciated so please do check that out uh this sequence was qu quite nice actually now i'm i'm guessing that they've got a way to deal with this but we will we will certainly see uh let's go ahead and attack here maybe i should have played this first but i don't know Yeah, probably should have. Whoops. <laughs> Definitely an accident on my end. Uh, and then we'll pass. So here we still get to leave up the neutralize. Um, <clears throat> I'm expecting a sweeper at some point. Yeah. Let's counter that. Get those counters on the... I love the, this art, by the way. It's beautiful. Um, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. We might be able to kill him this turn. We're going to try. That helps us get there. Cool. All right. Well, we got a win. Uh, we did have a Phoenix in the graveyard as well, so I believe that would have come back there too. Very, very nice. Okay. We are at least getting a win out of this deck. We'll give it one more go uh, and see how we do. Uh, and again, if you guys do share a list, I may go ahead and switch this uh, this deck up a little bit in between videos. If you don't, we can continue playing with this same one and just kind of test things out uh, continuously and then maybe revisit it later on. Uh, but this is a very, very powerful archetype, so I just want to see if we can make it work. Um, I'm going to keep this bit of an interesting one but I'm gonna keep it definitely keep land on top here again with only 20 land we do there is the worry that you know we run out of land at some point so we do have to be quite careful of that now this is gonna be an interesting matchup because uh, what tends to happen with this is uh, they go wider than we do uh, and so the issue is that they just ember cleave something that you know obviously uh, something that is not blocked and then we we lose out to it. So Definitely not the best here, but we will see what we can do Let's get that out there Definitely not gonna invade the city yet, so we'll pass mm, Yeah don't love it, but sure. It's actually quite a good card for them. <laughs> I'm actually going to counter this, which seems so silly, but uh, it keeps us from taking too much damage, and then that way they literally just can't play that. Um, Shock is quite nice. Let's do this. 
proliferate. Draw our card. Very happy we drew that. Let's go ahead and shock this. And I think we'll go ahead and opt here as well. Um, gonna look to di uh, to get rid of that. Uh, only because <clears throat> um, our plan now is pretty much invade the city to, to block all this crap. <laughs> um, and then draw as many cards as possible so we can ominous seize. So we kind of just want to hit land so we can do contingency plan plus invade the city. Um, let's bring up one, two... Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this first. Going to play that out. Whoops. Going to do this. I'm going to pass. Pretty good. If they've got the Ember Cleave, they just win. Gotta block that. We'll block one of these guys. If they've got Ember Cleave, there's no doubt. We just lose. And they do. Aw, oh, man. Uh, we were actually one turn away, I think, from stabilizing there, so we could have made it, but... That's okay. Unfortunately, not the best showing. We did win one game, which felt great. Uh, I think Ominous Seize is actually quite good in this deck. But again, we'll see with more testing. I think this is a, a, a good solid starting point, but I think there's a lot of things we definitely have wrong. Uh, and so any suggestions from you guys, again, more than welcome. Please share those. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Don't forget to check out our links, our Instagram and Patreon, like I said, are down below. And then, of course, our website, itresolvesmtg.com, is available at any time. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.